Ah, uh, I suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Foltest, King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the killer monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. He sailed off in a boat with some Scoia'tael. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. Vess! Bring us food and drink. <laughs> Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. Thank you. Never heard of women serving in the Special Forces. This is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just sixteen when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. I just remember the end. Vess! Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner. I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls. 
Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out of the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> what say we, um, uh, teach him a lesson for what he did to Fultest? I'll not touch this gum. I get scurvy. Right. Hangman will do it. He's poxy already. Guard. Come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again and we'll shut you up. How long are you going to keep me in here? Can't wait to see the hangman, eh? Don't worry, tomorrow's your big day. I can't wait to see him skinned alive. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Rip your guts out! I am Shilad Fitz Estelin, emissary of the Empire of Nilfgaard and its most divine emperor, Emir Var Emrys. What do you want of me, Nilfgaardian? Simply to speak, my lady. Ah, really? Something you would not dare were my son still alive. I very much regret the death of the Baron Lavalette. Please accept my deepest condolences. Yet it is precisely his loss that renders our conversation mutually desirable. Let go of me. I shall walk unaided. I shall return, rogue! And I shall repay you. Let us go, my lady. Your cries can do us no good. Tuck your up. 
bloody spear! <laughs> Come in, Master Geralt. Allow me to introduce the Baroness Lavalette, mother to the royal children, who at present mourns the passing of her eldest son. Milady. I comfort the Baroness with assurances that House Lavalette need suffer no more, its future brighter as it stands protected by the Empire of Nilfgaard. Did you kill my son, Arian? Milady, I killed many during the assault, not just your son. War demands sacrifices. You might remember that the next time you're about to start one. Have some compassion, Master Geralt. The Baroness requires support. She is distraught as it is. Unnecessary toil, Excellency, for witches have no feelings. And the truth, especially when painful, can wake us from the slumber of self-deception. I deserved as much. Milady, I wouldn't trust the Ambassador if I were you. Master Geralt, let us be serious, please. Let him speak. I wish to hear this. I didn't know your son, but I know he saw the Empire as a foe, as did King Foltest. You've no notion of the events transpiring in the Kingdom, of what Kimbolt, Maravel, and their ilk are capable. My duty is to Foltest's children, their safety. And though I too see a pact with Nilfgaard as a pact with the Devil, I feel I have no choice. Besides, can you say that you really knew the King? Well enough to be confident of my words. Truly? In that case, what kind of a man was he? I wish to know your view. He laughed at pleasantries, envied those better than him, feared those stronger, despised the weaker and killed those he hated. Those he loved he presented with Ballistae. He was a man like any other, except he was born to be King. True. He was a boar in a crown. My lady. <laughs> and that was the first and last honest epitaph he'll get. Once the poets start in, nothing will remain of the real Foltest. My lady, you will set down your memoirs. I shall make that my mission. Once we bring in the appropriate artist... Later, Excellency. All in due time. The Ambassador questioned your guilt. It seems now that I, too, believe you did not slay the King. Your Excellency, you will aid the Witcher to escape the castle. That is my wish. But, my lady, this would represent an immeasurable risk in my estimation. And there is the matter of your son. He chose his fate, and departed in a manner worthy of the Lavalettes. How am I to believe you'll protect me from reptiles like Kimbolt and Maravel when you balk at the notion of deceiving a few prison guards? Milady, I shall do what is in my power. Give me a moment, Witcher, then proceed to the main gate. <laughs> 